Hey everyone, welcome. Uh, my name is Bailey from the Elephant Money Herd. And uh, today I'm gonna to be talking about that new Elephant Money Farm. So I'm gonna be launching uh, any day. And uh, this is my third video. And some of the uh, questions I've been getting um, are, uh, hey, is this thing like sustainable? Like where does the money actually come from? Um, this sounds like really good, you know, almost too good to be true. So, you know, um, how does this thing all work? You know, so uh, if you didn't know guys, um, this is gonna revolutionize the industry. All right, so um, Elephant Money is going to be releasing um, these farms coming up, and there are no fees to get into this farm. Uh, there are no taxes. Uh, everything is completely liquid. There's no lockup periods. Um, it's lossless, which means it's um, immune to impermanent loss um, when you stake your volatile assets in there. Uh, it is trustless, uh, which means that no one um, will have access to those funds except you and your private keys. So it's very safe and secure. And it's going to be offering like some of the best yields uh, in the industry um, and best yields on stable coin assets, you know, which are um, a very good um, um, thing to uh, hang on to right now in the uh, bear market and um, top economic conditions. So, hey, like, you know, like, let's let's figure this out because, you know, there's going to be a lot of demand for this. Like, is this something that uh, is sustainable? All right. So uh, what I wanted to do, guys, is just kind of walk you through basically um, what kind of makes the elephant money system tick. All right. Um, we like to call it the uh, the Mona Lisa of um, tokenomics. All right. So if you're not familiar with this system, um, you know, it's really going to blow you away. All right. Because it's absolutely revolutionary. And, um, you know, once widespread spread, you know, adoption takes place, you're going to see just, um, you know, the fabulous, fabulous uh, possibilities of this system. You know, it's it's so good. So, but here's kind of how it's going to work. And I'll just give you guys like kind of a brief overview of it. Um, everything that you're going to see in this presentation, I go uh, into like a lot of detail with and some of my other videos on my YouTube channel, you know, so if you're really interested in kind of uh, diving in a little more deeply on some of this stuff, um, all of this is, is covered um, on my other on my other uh, videos. All right, so guys, we're gonna have the elephant token, all right? And the elephant token, um, that is going to be kind of like the asset of the community bank, all right? And that's gonna be responsible for paying out all debts and all yields that you're gonna be getting um, on this juicy trunk token, all right? The trunk token's um, primed to be right now, um, once these farms release, the hottest token in all of DeFi. All right. Um, there's going to be massive demand for it because, hey, you need this token uh, in order to uh, participate in the um, new farms. All right. And you're going to be paid out as well in this trunk token. All right. So there's going to be a lot of demand for it. And um, because of that, guys, it's going to be something where um, a lot of people will be um, trying to create it or mint it, have access to it. And you're gonna see how that, um, how that plays out um, with the elephant token, all right? So here's like kind of the design, and this is what really um, is revolutionary uh, and extraordinary about the elephant money system, all right? It's uh, Bertha, all right? So it's the elephant treasury, okay? Now, what the elephant treasury is, it's actually a smart contract and it acts as a large player in the economic space, all right? So basically, um, it's a large token holder of elephants, and it kind of acts like the friendly whale of the system, all right? So we like to call it an elephant money, like the whale that will never dump on you, okay? So what it's doing is it is collecting um, all of the elephant tokens um, and all of these tokens are pretty much going to be locked up by the protocol. All right. And, you know, if you dive deeper into the tokenomics of it, um, you're going to see that there is an elephant graveyard, which holds a vast majority of the elephant tokens. And then we have two very deep liquidity pools on pancake swap um, with our elephant token, one paired with BUSD, one paired with BNB. And then right here, guys, number three right now for the, um, for the token holder account uh, for elephant token is Bertha, all right, the elephant treasury. And right now she's sitting at about uh, 97 and a half trillion tokens. And she's creeping up on close to 10% of the supply. And what's gonna happen is um, as people mint a uh, trunk, which means create trunk, 
Um, so they put in BUSD and they receive um, trunk token. Um, those proceeds go to strengthening the elephant treasury. Um, same with if you wanted to bond trunk in a stampede account, which is kind of like our certificate uh, deposit account has the most aggressive um, APRs uh, in the system. Um, you put BUSD into something called peanuts, all right, in the stampede section, and that goes to strengthening the elephant treasury. Um, in addition, any um, transactions on the elephant token, so say if you buy um, or sell the elephant token, um, there's a tax on the elephant token, and a big portion of that tax goes to strengthening the elephant treasury, okay, Bertha. And you can kind of see over time um, that she just continues to grow in her token count. And that's by design, guys. It's the tokenomics of the system. And she's going to become basically an extremely wealthy um, kind of benefactor of all of us and um, makes this thing all, all tech. Okay. All right. Now, how does this like work exactly, right? So, um, so you're going to notice uh, Elephant Money has very, very deep liquidity. All right. Um, right now, as we currently speak, we're a top 10 holder in BNB. Um, on the Binance Smart Chain, and we have two massive liquidity pools, and roughly, you know, we're sitting at, you know, about like forty-four million dollars right now of liquidity. All right, between the BNB LP and the BUSD LP. Okay, um, and what happens, guys, is as Bertha um, collects these tokens, okay, they become more and more scarce in these liquidity pools. Okay which means there's less and less elephant token in the liquidity pools and more and more BNB or BUSD, okay? So what happens is there's something called a supply shock, okay? And that means that um, as all these tokens keep getting taken out, there's gonna become a point where the price is actually gonna explode kind of parabolically, all right? Because um, those tokens are, um, very scarce, and there's not a lot of them in the liquidity pools, okay? Parabolic supply shock. Now, guys, what's um, what's interesting about this is it's all governed by mathematics, all right? And um, it's governed by basically two types of equations um, that govern these liquidity pools and automated market makers that are actually going to make this uh, parabolic price um, increase, all right? So I'm just going to walk you through that real quick, guys. Um, so we have a saying um, in elephant money, uh, it, it's math money, okay? This is the most, um, it's the most unique creative use of, um, you know, problem solving, mathematics, computer science, and financial skill um, all wrapped up in, into one protocol. It's, it's unbelievable, right? So the whole idea, guys, behind this, you know, real quick, I have tons of videos on these things, uh, but we have this constant product formula, and that governs the amount of tokens that are in a liquidity pool, all right, the relationship between the two quantities of tokens. And what's going to happen on this curve is as the number of elephant tokens decreases or goes down, um, the number of BNB &B tokens uh, in that pool increases and increases. And um, the number of BNB &B tokens or um, also works the same way for our other liquidity pool, uh, the BUSD, um, it increases um, in value and it increases very rapidly. And what happens is um, eventually you get to the point where there's, um, there's uh, more and more value going in or kind of like the same amount of um, elephant token that's leaving, okay? So um, the price starts to shoot up very, very rapidly. And how this uh, equation here interacts with this equation here, which is our kind of our price equation of what the value of these elephant tokens are is going to look like, okay? And basically um, what happens is in a liquidity pool, the values of the two tokens, it's always, it always remains equal. Okay, so if I kind of go back to this slide here, you'll see that, um, you know, we have say like close to, you know, 27 million in here. So basically the B and B is worth half of that. So about like 13 and a half million, which makes the elephant tokens also worth 
13 and a half million dollars. And then you divide by the number of elephant tokens to get the value. All right. But what's going to happen is, you know, as the um, number of elephant tokens goes down and down and down and the number of or the value of um, the BUSD or BNB goes up and up and up. But those uh, quantities are, are still the same value. So what you end up happening is you have tons of monetary value in your liquidity pool and a small amount of elephant tokens in your liquidity pool. So when you find the price per token, it's like insanely high, which makes all of the elephant tokens insanely high. So uh, basically, um, you know, BT has um, figured out a way to mathematically manipulate deep liquidity pools with these mathematical formulas to create extreme exponential um, wealth in this elephant token. It's like absolutely amazing, okay? So here's the idea behind it, right? So it's like, hey, this elephant token, um, which is gonna be extremely, extremely valuable and is held by the smart contract, Bertha, who is basically our CEO. She's in charge of taking care of the entire protocol. Um, she is going to be basically outpacing any type of liability or debt um, that is uh, incurred by, as I say, the trunk token. Okay. And um, when, you know, we first kind of saw that this is already, um, you know, we've already seen uh, this in action. And, um, you know, so back like in uh, February and March, when the trunk token uh, was released, and there was a lot of, you know, hype and demand for, it, of course, and um, the tokenomics were a little different. And what um, actually happened was as somebody um, created or minted uh, Trunk, 25% uh, of that value um, would be taken by the elephant treasury um, and used to buy elephant token. You know, So only 25% of those proceeds um, was going to uh, buy elephant. But that, what that did was that created a lot of buy pressure and it creates that scarcity in the liquidity pools. So not only is uh, Bertha gaining more tokens, which is going to increase her value, but the act of pulling tokens out of the liquidity pool increases every single token in circulation, okay? So she's buying tokens, getting that price, and exploding her own value, okay? So the idea behind it, guys, is over here, you're going to see that the design of the system is the elephant treasury is going to increase in kind of an exponential nature, the value of it, while, you know, your stampede and um, your trunk um, yields and liabilities, you know, um, don't even outpace that at all. You know, they increase, you know, in a, a linear way or a way that is, you know, um, a very small percentage of what you're going to see um in the elephant treasury's growth okay so it's 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 like really cool and like that's what makes this all kind of tick and sustainable all right and if we look guys at historical data um so um this is courtesy of mike dre uh thank you very much so he's another elephant money uh enthusiast and extremely um smart crypto investor um definition of smart money so like he's he's all in on on the system as well it really studies it and um so what we're going to see here guys is uh this is the historical data for in the minting of uh trunk um for through february and march and then 25 percent of that went to the buy pressure to build this elephant treasury okay and we can see guys that in march um, there was over $1.1 million in average volume per day of people creating um, the trunk token. All right. Now, this is really exciting because the trunk token um, now has more use cases and like an extremely incredible use case in this new elephant money farms. All right. So we're going to see that there's going to be a lot of demand for the trunk token. So, you know, that minting volume, you know, could be relatively in those numbers, you know, maybe higher. We don't know. You know, um, I, I'm thinking possibly the because it's a revolutionary system that BT has put together. So um, 
All right, so we'll see that, guys. But so here's um, another thing that's like really noteworthy, all right, is that since then, um, there's been a lot of tokenomics upgrades and improvements in um, the protocol, um, how um, the elephant treasury operates um, and the interaction between the two liquidity pools. And, um, you know, so two things to keep your eye on and to, and to understand, because this is huge, is that um, with the implementation of um, our trunk version five, and um, BT has put all sorts of different, um, you know, really awesome governance strategies uh, into play to make this thing basically like Fort Knox, right? It's like immune um, to all types of, you know, bad actors in the space. Like this is a really, really locked down safe protocol with all the um, different uh, measures that he has. Um, but so as that has occurred, you know, there's also been kind of some tweaks and changes to, um, you know, the tokenomics. And one of these things here is 100% uh, of all BUSD are used to mint trunk. Okay, minting trunk means creating fresh trunk or bonding trunk with peanuts. So if you wanted to just um, add trunk into your stampede balance, you could do that right from the site um, through peanuts. Now, 100% of those funds, not 25%, 100% of those funds now go to um, buying back elephant tokens for the elephant treasury. All right. So Bertha is going to be supercharged um, whenever someone is minting trunk or bonding with peanuts. All right. That's this whole idea behind creating this huge, large demand um, for um, the trunk token. All right. And also, guys, you know, something that's really important is that. Um, with the implementation of this buy with Bertha promotion that you can that you'll learn about, um, you know, if you start investigating more uh, of the protocol, um, the Elephant Treasury will actually uh, select which LP to purchase the Elephant token from, um, and they're going to purchase um, the cheapest Elephant tokens to kind of maximize the quantity that Bertha is going to get. Um, and that's going to keep um, those liquidity pools more close um, in value, all right? So um, when the first parabolic um, explosion happened, um, one, of the, one of the LPs was going crazy and the other one wasn't as much. So like there was like so much arbitrage and everything. Um, this system here, you're going to see that like Bertha is going to just go to scoop up all the tokens um, and um, they're going to do it in a very efficient manner. And, um, you know, it's going to really um, do things, you know, much more, you know, in a much more um, kind of like scientific, pay, you know, nature and pace. Like they're going to, um, both of those liquidity pools are going to be traveling kind of together, you know, or keeping very close in value, which is, which is really cool. All right. So, so here's the scoop. So, all right. She's getting a hundred percent of this BUSD that's going to be um, going towards trunk, right? What's that going to do for her? Okay, so you can see right now, guys, that um, she's got about 97 trillion tokens. All right, and the monetary value of those 97 uh, trillion tokens is about 10.6 million dollars. Okay, so the elephant treasury right now is a, worth about 10.6 million dollars. And what's going to happen as this demand for trunk kicks up? Right, so. Um, if you followed uh, some of my math lessons, this is going to be in the, the math lesson number seven. I show you, um, you know, how we can actually calculate um, the prices and we have this price calculator. All right. And um, so I want to thank also um, Shane from Crypto Questions. Um, you know, we worked on this price calculator together. And what it does is um, you're able to just input the, um, the statistics of the liquidity pools. You know, so the elephant, the BNB, &B, or the elephant and the BUSD, and you're then going to be able to just put in um, an average amount of volume you expect to see per day, and it will shoot out for you um, basically what your price appreciation is and how much um, the value of the elephant token would go up if that volume occurred. All right. And it uses all of those um, mathematical formulas, you know, that I touched upon. 
And so uh, what I did was, you know, I took a look at, you know, this March average of about 1.1 million. And I said, all right, well, what if, you know, we get about $1 million, okay, um, on average of minting trunk. Okay. And that's definitely um, well within reason uh, once you see the product that's, that's launched. All right. And um, so like what would happen? All right. So um, one thing guys that you would want to know is that that $1 million um, when it comes in, um, Bertha, the elephant treasury is not going to be spending it in just one liquidity pool. Okay. So she's going to be kind of picking the best deal to maximize the number of tokens that she can claim and add to the treasury. All right. So what that would look like, guys, is that one million uh, would actually be divided up. And so I divided it up so it would keep the price in both uh, liquidity pools um, relatively equal. All right. Because that would be kind of like the programming that um, she has with the buy with Bertha right now. All right. So right now, um, say if one million dollars per day of trunk is minted. All right. So we'll have um, about five hundred ninety four thousand from this pool and about four hundred six thousand from this pool. And you're going to see that the price per million elephant um, is around fifty nine cents per million. All right. So over that one month. All right. That's going to be over a four hundred percent price appreciation in both of those liquidity pools, okay? All right. However, guys, this is what's uh, absolutely crazy, okay? So Bertha right now, all right, it's got the 97.4 tokens, okay? Um, from this B&B &B liquidity pool, she would net close to a 70 trillion um, tokens. It's like 69.7 trillion tokens. Um, if we're starting at 122 and we're left with about uh, 53 trillion, okay? Uh, and then from the BUSD liquidity pool, all right, we're gonna go down from 85 trillion and she's gonna be able to bring us down to 35.5 trillion. So she's gonna get close to 50 trillion tokens from there. So over one month, because our elephant token's rather cheap, and she's going to be balancing her purchases between the two liquidity pools to scoop up as much cheap um, trunk, as, oh, sorry, most cheap, cheap elephant as possible. Um, she is going to go up to, in the course of one month, from 97.4 trillion, and she's going to hit uh, 217 trillion elephant tokens. Okay, if we get that one million dollars of just trunk by um, each day, you know, for a month. Okay, all right, that's pretty insane, right? So check this out. So right now she was at ten point six million, and what would happen, guys, is she would actually increase in value with the value of those tokens, and she would actually go up to um, $128.2 million, all right? So not only is she getting and adding tokens to her, um, to her treasury, and those tokens are appreciating, okay, um, very rapidly, also all the tokens that she owns are appreciating rapidly as well and being added to that total. Um, so that's where we're going to see that parabolic price appreciation, and that's going to take off exponentially. Okay. So, all right, back to our question, new elephant money farms, is it sustainable? Okay. So let's check it out, guys. So in that example there, all right, if um, we just get 1 million new trunk, um, trunk purchases uh, each day for 30 days. Um, so you'd add another $30 million in new liabilities, okay, which um, people would then be able to stake um, and to claim some yield, all right? Not everybody's going to claim every day. Some people roll and recompound, um, but you're going to see that for that same amount of liabilities, Okay, our treasury grew $117.6 million in new assets. And the thing about it is um, when you're further up that parabolic uh, curve, the price appreciation actually just gets more and more rapid and violent. So for a linear increase in trunk, 
um, Bertha is going to be absolutely like exploding in value. Um, this is going to be something that's really, really special. And it's going to catch, you know, um, you know, it's going to take the world by storm. Like it, it really is. Uh, it's going to be something that's amazing to watch. So um, is it sustainable? Well, I'll just leave that up to you, you know, to see if you, uh, what you think about it. Uh, but Hey, um, none of this was financial advice, but I do have some advice for you. And that is uh, join the herd. All right. So um, get into our official telegram group, ask questions, um, you know, meet the fine folks in there. And um, hopefully, um, you know, you, uh, you're able to um, participate in this wonderful system. All right. It's, it's going to be great. It's going to be fire. All right. Thank you guys. Uh, this is Bailey from the EMH. I'm out.